Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today's meditation is about connecting to your higher self through the heart center, you know, all the way to the soul, to source. Um, let's see how this goes. Um, you know, of course, to get into higher consciousness we somehow have to be hooked up to the spiritual internet you know, in my understanding, this is, you have to be grounded, you have to be connected energetically to the Earth Mother, with your energies. and But you also have to be connected energetically um, to the higher dimensions, um, the more subtle realms of reality, uh, the finer vibrations, so to say. And uh, this is generally, traditionally done through the higher energy centers. Um, you know, which not only are in the body, but also, you know, above the head. Uh, the higher you go, activating those areas, uh, the more you have access to the subtle dimensions. And, uh, but still, you know, we are uh, supposed to, you know, walk, you know, centered in the heart. Um, not centered in the belly, not centered in the third eye, but centered in the heart. Because this is where um, the, uh, let's say, wormhole, the gateway is to the soul, and this means through all dimensions. And uh, so I want to take you on this, on this trip, you know, into your heart to align more with your soul maybe to remove some obstacles. Uh, let's just see. So, you know, don't drive <laughs> or operate heavy machinery. Uh, sit down very comfortably uh, in a relaxed position, relaxed clothes. Uh, preferably have uh, earbuds on or headphones for a better sound quality. And, uh, yeah, smile like an idiot. And when I say intent, just agree, maybe not your head, but wanted. So I connect this absolute source and my and your highest spirit guides. I invite our inner children and the uh, elements, you know, of this earth realm, uh, like Mother Earth and uh, also the consciousness of the Milky Way galaxy. Now, Amen. And to ask that everything that happens in and from this session is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes throughout all dimensions, all incarnations, all time and reality. And of course the intent is, you know, opening the heart, connecting with source and connecting of course with your own soul. Amen. And uh, now smile and imagine that you extend your roots from your legs, from your spine into the earth and just fizzle them out into small and smaller roots and uh, let her love and her higher vibration just rise in you, just allow that and smile, smile sweetly and just open yourself up to her love. Open up your feet, your legs, your pelvis, and feel her love streaming into you. And on the exhale, just smile at her and send to some of you a love from your heart and you will see an echo coming back or feel an echo coming back of her love and notice how relaxed you become and how easy your breath becomes oh. Becoming deeper, deeper, and easier to breathe in a natural flow. And 
and it's becoming very joyful, projecting love and receiving love. And now let that energy rise up in your spine and gradually squirt out the top of your head. And support it with your breath and use your breath to remove any obstacles, your tightness or whatever you find in your spine. Don't obsess over it, just playfully piddle away on it. And also have this energy is kind of undulating, moving around. And organic. Mm-hmm. And now imagine that you're breathing out this earth love all the way to the top of the head and ultimately connect with the consciousness of Milky Way Galaxy. And smile like an idiot, because she is a great being, with so many, so many intelligent cultures residing in her. And just let this love flow into you. through you and over you. Especially into your heart. Into the most tender parts that you have there. That were so shy. That didn't want to get hurt again. Those need that the most, so let it flow in there. And just feel, just feel it, don't be afraid. Ah, Allow it, witness it, and observe how the love just transmutes it and uh, and it comes in waves as you probably notice and just breathe and let go into love And we release all the backstabbing energy that we have accumulated. And also the ones where we did it. It just all blocks the heart. And we don't need that energy anymore. Just let go of it. Ah. Just let go. And we ask for the higher dimensions to siphon off this painful darker chi and transmute it in even more healing love and sprinkle it onto you just like fairy dust now. unforgiveness and of course we all ourselves have done things we may not forgive ourselves for 
So we all screw up. So let's just release all this. We ask those that we hurt to forgive us and those that hurt us. We forgive them. And we ask the higher dimensionals, call them angels or whatever, and our own high self to help us release this now and to just let go. Just you forgive and ask for forgiveness. As you feel it spreading in your heart becoming lighter and lighter. You see more heaviness now. And don't be afraid of that heaviness and just acknowledge it. We have been running away of these feelings for a long time. But now, with the support that we are having, if you look at it, and let this Christed light of unconditional love just flow into that and have it dissolve it. Amen, 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 amen. Ah. we all have been broken hearted and have others make broken hearted probably in this lifetime and surely in past so we offer all this pain off to God to source to please transmute it for those that we hurt and for our own hurt not for selfish reasons, but for reasons of becoming a light of love and beauty and sweetness, a tool, a vessel for the highest to come through us. Amen, amen. Just let it rip. That is okay. It feels so good. As this pain goes away. And now we can pay attention to even more subtle things. Let's get that. Let's get those coming. And now, let's remove some more resistances in our heart towards that love and presence of our soul. In many lifetimes, we most likely have cursed God and our own soul, our own connection towards divinity because we lost loved ones we saw the horror of the world like in wars and other instances maybe where we got tortured Of course, now they're echoing throughout our lifetimes and we don't need their influence anymore. 
We want to connect back to our soul and source. So we are source to please find our removal, clear out all those vows and curses we did, or maybe we laid them on others too, that disconnect us from our highest self and from source altogether. Please do so now, throughout all dimensions, all realities, all incarnations and all time, for the highest good in divine harmony with the mouth and heaven outcomes. Amen, amen. Breathing and smile like an alien. And let it expand. Some of you will feel warmth or tingling. Oh no. <laughs> or even see it, colors swirling. Just breathe into them as a childlike joy. Ah. Now, of course, we also had a lot of pain in our heart from all our incarnations you know, from broken heart situations, separation from loved ones, betrayal, disappointment. You know, every time where our heart got broken. And this, we are source to please also fix all this. <laughs> we no need to carry this around anymore. The wisdom has been gathered. So again, please, find all who move on, clear all, all those broken heart scenarios. Ah, again, yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Do so throughout our time, realities, incarnations, and dimensions, please. Amen, amen, amen. And of course, there also have been instances in our lifetimes where curses and black magic devices and evil love spells were cast onto us. And their effect, our connection with our divine guidance, our divine vision, and our divine connection with Source. And so we plead to Source and its representatives to please find our move on, clear out all these curses and devices that were affecting, that are affecting us, and also where we may maybe put this on other people too. That's just fair. So please remove all those throughout all time, incarnations, realities, and dimensions. Amen, 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 amen. Smile and breathe in. 
to that. And if you ask those spirit guides to just assist you in the opening of the heart and with the infusion of love creating a safe space for you. Amen, 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 amen. And maybe there has been some tweaking also with our DNA. In some way to limit our perception of love and our connection with our higher divine consciousness. And we asked Source and its expansions to please change our DNA and change those things, those vibrations, manipulations or hindrances. Streamline it in a way, update it in a way to the divine blueprint so that we can effortlessly connect to source and feel the connection for 24 hours a day. Please do so throughout all time, dimensions, realities and incarnations. Amen. Amen. soul to bring more and more love from its source out our heart, like our heart becoming a cornucopia. And we ask it first to just flow into our pain body. And show the pain body how much it is still loved and accepted and honored and forgiven and apologized to. It's time this to transmute this overabundance of love coming in. And we have our inner child step into our body and line up at the heart. Let the inner child drink of the nectar that is coming in. Have it become completely infused with the love. To a degree that it boundaries seems to seem to dissolve. This radiance transmutes all the resistances that are still there towards love, like the fear, 
like the fear. responsibility and guilt that makes you tight hearted let go of that just let go of those birds let go these all come with the animal bodies that we have survival Ego, personality for survival. So for the time being, just let go of those guards and let the love flow in. Ah, that feels so good. And you're letting go on deeper and deeper and deeper levels. stuff that comes in becomes more sublime and sweet and peaceful. Ah. asked for the benediction that if it is appropriate or when it is appropriate we reside in our heart to be in the harmony of this reality to be aligned with our highest guidance with our highest consciousness to be aligned with the will and the love and the wisdom and power of souls to work through us whenever it's for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome. We ask now for more of our soul to come and join us in this journey on this planet. Those that can come back now and join you, please come in now. Amen, 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 amen. And smile like an idiot. Feel how you may be coming bigger or taller, more whole, fluffier. Yeah. Oh. You may move your head slightly, your neck, or crank your spine. And he asked that everything be nicely integrated and that our subtle bodies be even better aligned now so we can have a beautiful harmonious flow 
and the exchange of energies and information throughout the different aspects of our dimensions where we exist. Amen. There might be, most likely, there are still energy vampires from this and past lifetimes that gorge themselves on our life force, from our heart, from our sexuality, from our creativity. So we ask souls to please remove those cords and also remove them where we attach them to others to suck from them and reconnect us to the unlimited well of our own soul that is connected to souls. Please do so throughout all time, dimension, realities and incarnations for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes now. Amen, 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 amen. Just keep breathing deeply and fully and smile like an idiot. And now imagine that in front of you your humanoid incarnations are lined up. <clears throat> and you just connect with them on the highest level through your heart. And you ask that these connections be purified and aligned and the pain removed. Clarified. Oh, whatever that is. Oh, throughout the timelines, throughout incarnations, throughout realities, throughout dimensions. We ask it to be cleared and aligned for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, 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 amen. And you might see or feel how they are lining, how the heart chakra is expanding, clearing up. Oh, smile at all of them. those that kind of are stuck on the lower dimensions, maybe on the astral plane like ghost and soul fragments, we ask our high selves and our helper to gather them up, to show them about the higher dimensions, to make them welcome, and then to bring them home. Amen, amen, amen.
Yeah. And when they make it into the other dimensions, you can feel the energy kind of coming down like fairy dust. Oh, this feels good. So, we ask that automatically our heart will open or close according to circumstances, like a rose, when it's night or it's raining, it closes. And when the weather is auspicious, it opens up so that our heart is in the same way, that it protects itself automatically from now on. And, you know, and not just stays closed by default. <laughs> and you know, when it is not necessary. If you asked for this now from our high selves, Amen, 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 Amen. And now I count to three, and you will be back in Waking day consciousness. One, two, three. Hello, my friends. <laughs> I'm not going to drive any car or operate heavy machinery now. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Oh, man. Let it linger, let it linger. And smile like an idiot. So, being connected to heaven and earth, residing in your heart, you know, to the deepest, most sublime level, I think that is the way to live for humanity. You know, by your connections, with your higher chakras, you know, your higher mental faculties, your intuition gets enhanced, more energy to the brain, you know, full brain function. And our connection with your Earth Mother will put us in harmony with those vibrations, and actually she probably vibrates higher than us now. So we have to just follow her and harmonize with her, and then we are okay. So hooking up with the earth is very important too. And then the modem is kind of the heart where everything comes together. Uh, where we kind of sidestep the personality, the ego. You know, that is there to survive in a biological environment. And this is considered three-dimensional consciousness. And the fifth-dimensional consciousness is that of a unity consciousness. You know, where you walk with a higher consciousness, a higher awareness that is uh, based on, let's say, win-win um, love. You know, we are all you know, an expression of the Creator. Ultimately, we all have a high self and a sublime awareness. Every being, <laughs> not just humans, also animals, also trees, also mountains, also planets and galaxies. They're all aware, they're all smart, even crystals. They all have angelic intelligences overshadowing them. So it is a wonderful new consciousness that uh, we are waking up to, you know, making us more telepathic, uh, more sensitive. Many people start seeing ghosts and they're becoming aware of presences. So this is all, these are all gifts um, of fifth dimensional consciousness, higher awareness, precognition. Uh, more energy flowing out of your hands, your chakras here. You know, you can do healings. Uh, all those things are part of fifth dimensional consciousness, and the more you are aligned with your soul, 
of this multidimensional awareness, you know, through the heart, through the heart. Um, well, you know, the smoother the transition. Uh, you can send me an email for private session. I have lots of videos, meditations that you can follow on the internet. I ask that you be blessed and use everything wisely for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Namaste.